Low quality fans! High <laughs> quality brewing team! That is a dub! That is a dunking! Unbelievable dunking on the Islanders. We smacked them around! Thank God I was so sick of losing to that team, man. We just kicked the absolute bejesus out of that squad. That was varsity versus JV, and that's putting it lightly. Yeah, we gave up a bunch of chances. Whatever. I don't care. Huge win. We just keep winning, which feels amazing. Everything about this past couple of months just woo! I mean, I had some negativity for the deadline, but so far so good, right? Who cares? Just win, baby! Who cares? Who cares what's going on as long as you're getting them dubs? There's a line to draw there. There's a very clear line to draw there, but like, you get what I'm saying. You know where the line is crossed when you're when you're not when you're not just focused on getting dubs, but other things happening. You know what I'm saying. That team from that little island where I used to live, by the way, spent a couple of years on that little island. They're seven two and one in their last ten. They're coming in. They know they're probably not making the playoffs, but they're feeling hot. They're feeling spicy. They got something to prove. Their front office decided to do jack shit all for the deadline, basically saying, hey, next year we're going to run it back with this very, very old crew. I don't even have the numbers in front of me. I assume most of their players are old because they just look it. They have the fifth best defense in the league, though. Turns out, the fifth best defense in the league can't hold us back. Oh, God. It just feels good, man. It just feels good. It feels so good. They have beat us twice this season. They beat us in the playoffs last year. There is no love. No love for the Islanders. I have people in my life, personally, who talk shit to me about this team. No love. Screw them. We kick the crap out of them, and, and when the season ends late April, and we go on to the playoffs, they won't be around, now will they? They won't. Am I kicking a dog while it's down? I don't like to kick dogs. Um, am I kicking a mm, politician while they're down? Hell yeah, I am! Fuck them! Olmark is going to get the start. Like, comment, subscribe. Snuck it in after the goalie. You didn't see that one coming. Bergy is back. It's his 1200th game. He is still third all time for the franchise, which in, in games played, which is awesome. Uh, I, I was going to like do a thing about a third. All, he didn't pass anyone with this game. He's been third. I, I don't know why I felt like I needed to do that. We are playing Chara once again. Once again, this is an example of we... Don't need Char back right now. We love him. We loved having him here. I'm a big Char dude. Don't need him on the Bruins right now. I hope he retires soon. Really do. Short Shift Pod, Twitter, Discord, all links below. I mentioned the stuff I'm supposed to mention. People say you have to mention this stuff for people to do it. I don't know how it all works. Twitch, I, I can only stream like once a week, but I'm trying. I don't have any time, but I'm trying. So Twitch, do that too. It's, in, it's linked below. Puck drops! And this game is gritty out of the gate. You can tell these teams don't like each other. That's the best thing. I know that the game has gotten softer and the game's gotten safer. And I like that it's gotten safer. I want my favorite players to be able to play 20 years. I like that about the league. That it's getting safer. But let's be honest. When two teams hate each other... And you're, you're literally wondering if someone's just going to right into someone's nuts at a certain point, just out of rage. It's a great game. It's super fun to watch when two teams can't stand each other. We're getting that from the Wild this year. We always get it from the Habs and the Leafs. But hey, the Islanders, that's fun to see too. And four minutes into this one, the big bad Bruins are back. It is absolutely just a, a physical ass kicking throughout this whole game. In four minutes in, Coyle's going down the right wall. And Pellet comes to hit him. And Coyle demolishes this young man. Absolutely demolishes him. And Pellet was the one who went for the hit. Stay on your skates, bud. Maybe the goal wouldn't have happened. That's right. He continues down below the net. 
fires up the slot to Carlo. Carlo is going to intentionally miss to the right side with a fat clapper. And it bounces right back out. Varlamov attacked too far on the Carlo shot, which he kind of is forced to do. You don't want to be deep in your net on that. He comes out to attack. Smith is wide open for the off-the-wall rebound in front of the net. All net, baby. That is 1-0, four minutes in. Every goal we got, well, for the first three, I sat there going, thank God, because this team's so hard to score against. I was like, how many goals do we need to win this game? Because they don't score a lot. I figured we needed three goals to win the game. I was wrong. We needed six. Or four, I guess. But six. Four minutes later, noted Bruins killer. Palmieri. Just every time we play him, he puts one in the net. It's a blast from the point. This fared, failed clearances by Carlo and Grizz. They both kind of both bobble the puck together. This is the third line getting hemmed in. Blast from the point. And a high tip by Palmieri. It's a beautiful tip. Off the bounce beats Olmark. That's 1-1. One, one. I thought this one was going to stand, but they review it. Was it too high? Was it too high? They called it a goal on the ice from what I could tell. The review took an unbelievable amount of time. But then eventually they waved it. So suck it, Bruins killer Palmieri. Suck it. I'm being very rude. I shouldn't be so rude. Seven minutes left. Break away for Jakey. He gets absolutely stoned. Four minutes remaining. Bevelier hooking to the power play. And it was almost two full minutes of pressure. And we did not... We, we, we couldn't buy one. Couldn't push one through. You thought a few times we were going to get one. Didn't happen. This power play is... It, I think it's bad at times. But we have the puck a lot. And we're usually moving the puck well. We scored a couple power play goals. Or one power play goal this game. So it's fine. But it's weird that we have so much trouble scoring a power play. We, ha we have the puck most of the time. 40 seconds left in the period. Felino is going to make a nice cut into the slot to try to go around Varlamov, and he gets tripped up. We are going to the power play. Face-off win. Marshy bunts it back to McAvoy. McAvoy loads up and fires at the net. Hall is there. He gets to tip on it. Easy peasy. 2-0. Late in the first. That's right. Late in the first. We get one. You love to see that. Unfortunately, 22 seconds later, there's a face-off in the left circle of the defensive zone. It's a scrum. It gets punched back towards Chara. Chara unloads. Man, can he still whip that thing. Unloads. Crossbar and off to the right circle. Nelson is alone, just sitting there, buries it. I mean, there's, there's very little you can do for that. Just a shot that goes off the bar and finds a stick. Not a lot you can do about that. Olmark couldn't adjust in time. He couldn't find the puck in time. Wide open net. 2-1. 11 seconds left of that, that first period. I still was very confident. Yes, deflating. But this team has a hard time scoring. We had the lead. I felt like we had one or two more in us at this point. Because we were buzzing. Felt good about it. You felt good start to finish on this one, right? You Tell me in the comments. Because I feel like everyone should have. Two minutes into the second period, second line, which was brilliant all day, not night, day. But it starts with Grizz forcing a turnover in the neutral zone. Puck gets sent in deep. Hall and Pasta fighting on the boards for it. They win it. Hall skates away with it, sends it to Howla, who is on that left circle. And he's going to shoot at the net. Rebound. Pasta went to the net after Hall made that pass. Collects it. Goes around Varlamov. Dunks it. 3-1. Early in the second. Right there, I thought the game was over. I did not think our defense was going to give up enough to let them back in this game. I thought that was it. Two minutes later, it's a face-off circle in the left dot of the offensive zone. The Isles win it, but Marchand absolutely bullies everyone. Chases them around the net, creates havoc. Bodies are flying everywhere. The humanity! But the puck gets bumped forward up that right wall, because it went full circle at this point. Bumps up that right wall. Bergeron collects, throws it in on the net. Marchand, who escapes the tussle, runs into the slot, collects the rebounded puck, and then dunks it around Varlamov the other way. It's 4-1 now. Game over. It's done. We're done. Go home. No one get injured. We're done. About a minute later, we're going to go to the penalty kill. Nosik is going to go for cross-checking. There's some offsetting between Felino and Martin as well. During the penalty kill. Gosh darn it, Olmark. They're moving the puck around. Puck gets blasted in on Olmark. It looks like he has it in his chest. It looks like he has it. We could have really afforded a, I mean, not even a quick whistle, but a whistle. 
But the ref saw enough of the puck. He wasn't, he was just waiting. Puck dribbles out. Enough for Peugeot to get a stick on it. He makes, Olmark makes a leg save, but kicks it out farther. And then Lee is there. Third attempt, I guess you'd call it. Flings it past Olmark. He's got to smother that. He's got to smother that. And yeah, do I want the defense to take more bodies and all that stuff? That play should have died with, with Olmark on that one. That was a tough one to give up. 4-2, not worried. This team can't score. Not worried. That is until two minutes later where Freddy is going to go for a delay of game for putting his hand over the puck. And I'm kind of sitting there going, we're falling apart. We kill it, thank God. But the Isles are kind of pouring it on. They're fighting back. They're getting aggressive with us. Well, it's just not enough. It is absolutely not enough. Five minutes left in the period. Isles have really fought. They've really fought up to this point. You thought that maybe they just need a bounce or two. Mm-mm. Hall. Deeks around an Isles defender in the neutral zone. Takes the offensive zone. Whips it to Pasta. Pasta's going to collect. And he's sort of got that triangle option. Hall continues toward the net. Howla stays a little back. But he's wide open and uncovered. What's really neat about this is their spacing was so perfect. And the defense was lax enough that Pasta was able to whip the puck to Howla. And Howla almost has an open net. Really, they got really close in before I knew it. They got a lot closer to the goal than I realized as the play was happening. Just flings it in, enough net for anyone to score on that. Great goal by Howla, great play by Hall and Pasta. We're up 5-2. to two. This game was so much fun. We were kicking the crap out of them. 147 left. DeBrusque, it's a basic centering play. Face-off win, puck gets sent around the boards. DeBrusque is, is just going to kick it back. Into the slot. He's behind the net. Just backhand it right into the slot. Bounces off Pelic's skate or stick. I'm not really sure what it hit. And goes past Varlamov somehow. Squeezes through. 6-2. Goal for Jakey. Huge. That's a little confidence booster, right? I mean, DeBrusque is with us, guys. At this point. And do I think it was a mistake not to trade him? Yes. I've been over this. But, I mean, he's a Boston Bruin. I'm going to root for him all day. All day. Good goal for the, for the kid. Third period starts. And for the first 10-ish minutes, we're crushing them. We're just better physically, mentally, sexually. We're just better in every facet. We're flying around. 10.26 left. Hall draws an interference call. We don't really do much for it. Seven minutes remaining. Felino and Martin are going to go for a fight. They're going to throw them down. They're going to... It's, it's not really a fight. They kind of grab each other and neither can overpower the other. So they're just basically doing this for what felt like a minute and a half. It was a really long one. They get split up. Felino... No clue why. Gets the extra two for uh, misconduct or, or uh, unsportsmanlike. That's what it is. Unsportsmanlike. No clue. So we go on a penalty kill after a fight. I, we have watched people all year just chase a guy down and force the guy to fight. And it's always offsetting. Really strange on this one. So is what it is. The penalty kill shouldn't have allowed this. Lindholm attacks really high on the left side, just gets really aggressive. So basically, what the Isles do, they have it on that right circle, the left side of Olmark. Whip it across slot. Lindos, Lindholm has to come back. Can't get back in time because they just filled in. So they basically just did a triangle, like a give-and-go with three players. And they have a wide, like a wide open tap-in for Parise. That's it. 6-3. Fine. Who gives a shit? That's your final score. We kicked the crap out of them. And I don't even have game notes because everyone was so good. I didn't love all of Olmark's game. I point out the one goal. There are other moments where I didn't love. Defensively, we actually gave up a lot of chances. But when a game is going like that, that tends to happen where you're just plowing down and you're just scoring, scoring, scoring. People get a little relaxed. I'm not going to read too much into that part. It was just a great win. And now we're in second in the Atlantic. Second, by the time you're reading this, reading this, Jesus, by the time you're watching this, you might, uh, that might be wrong, because uh, Toronto can win tonight and bump right back ahead of us. Still pretty cool. Did not think we'd be in this position. Did not think we'd even be close to this. So that's pretty awesome. Speaking of Toronto, they're our next game. It's a huge one. We get home ice. Let's, if we win that, oh, we are just flying right now. Flying high. It feels good to be a Bruins fan. All right, guys, that does it for me. Like, comment, subscribe. Next game, Toronto. It's a big one. Let's fucking go. Keep the momentum 
cruising. I don't want to see this team start to peter down the stretch. There's still a lot of games left. I don't know if we can hold on to this kind of momentum for the next 15, 16, 17 games. But let's hope we can. Go Bees!